Hi, Jerome from Trailblazing Wine. I'm here to talk about our February wine pack at Delhi number five. And um, I'm here with Joe because we're, we're hosting a tasting every, um, every quarter with the seasons to, uh, to put together the best of British charcuterie and cheeses with the best artisan wines. And um, we started our tastings at the end of last year when we sold, I think we sold out within the first hour or so of putting the tickets on sale. But it, it was a really popular evening. We started with Spanish craft wines with um, British cheese and charcuterie and um, we're starting this year with our selection of um, Australian boutique wines paired with um, British cheese and British charcuterie. So this is the, the um, February uh, Trailblazing Wine Discovery Club pack and we're showing these wines at the Delhi number no. 5, the, the last week was the 28th of Thursday the 28th of February and we've spent this evening putting together just some amazing flavours ready to go with the wine. So the first wine we're having is um, Driftwood Estate from Margaret River. It actually got uh, rated um, outstanding uh, recently by Decanter. It's the highest rated small vineyard in Margaret River. So we're, we're absolutely over the moon to be having this wine. And it's a Semillon Sauvignon. So we'll try this. The first one of the evening. It's um, beautiful on the nose. It's sort of lime notes bit of wax, quite restrained actually, it's not giving too much away. And on the palate, the perfume, it really full, full flavoured on the palate. And, and Joe, what did we think when, when we paired this one? What were our thoughts? So uh, what we were thinking with this one, uh, we didn't. We wanted to go down the route of um, something which is not going to overpower this relatively delicate wine uh, to begin with. So. Um, what we've uh, decided to go down uh, the cheese route with is this one here, which is a, uh, it's called Ribblesdale Superior. It's a goat's cheese. It's a very young goat's cheese. Although the texture is similar to something like a cheddar, it is still very young. So you get a, a very creamy note from it with not too much of the goaty sort of flavor, which really complements the, the sort of the, the fruity notes in, in, in this wine um, and doesn't overpower it, marries up really well. Uh, with the, the meat side of things, the charcuterie, what we, we've gone down the route of a pork riette. Again, quite a, um, not a very multi-dimensional flavoured um, meat, uh, uh, riette, but um, the sort of the fattiness in that is really complementing this, this wine, the fruitiness, freshness of this wine. So those are the two that we've, we've gone for uh, on that one. The next one we were quite surprised by, so we, this is from um, South Australia, it's Hunt Estate, and it's a Chardonnay. Now, kind of oak Chardonnays have gone out of fashion a bit, but when they're done well, they're amazing. And the quality of the grapes here are really, really good. The wines, um, it's a delicious wine, and it can cope with the amount of oak it's had. So the oak kind of frames it, gives a nice vanilla creaminess. And we slightly went, um, we took a bit of a risk with this pairing. We tried a few things, didn't we, Joe? And um, we wanted to emphasize that and, and help people to sort of get away from that bias when they're, when they're sort of fairly cheap Chardonnays from Australia which were, were full of kind of kind of cheap oak before. Yeah. This sort of shows the best example of, of quality oak Chardonnay and um, what do we what do we think so, worked with it? So on the, on the cheese and the meat notes on, on this one, what we, again we wanted to be quite bold with uh, and sort of break the trend in terms of what you can expect to eat with, with, with a white wine. So what we've gone with this one is uh, we've actually gone with a blue cheese, which is it's called a Barnaby Blue. It's this one, uh, this one here. Um, and what this uh, does for the wine, it's it's uh, a very mild, creamy blue cheese, which allows the uh, the wine to do the talking. But the the, the oakiness, the slight oakiness from from the uh, from the Chardonnay uh, and this wine, it really rounds it off nicely with that blue cheese. Um, although you'd usually think blue cheese to be with a red wine, this it really does stand up. This wine really does stand up to it. Um, and again, with the meat option as well, we've gone for a venison salami. Um, so uh, a nice gaminess to yeah. it. Um, again, which this this oak chardonnay really does stand up to. So again, not usual pairings, but um, but but very nice indeed. The next wine's very interesting. We've we've um, come from an aged riesling from Australia. This is a 2013 vintage from the Barossa Valley. A serious wine from a serious producer, Bethany. And um, we were quite, well, this really showed kind of how, um, it's a classic inter interpretation of aged Riesling. So you've got that 
Uh, well, let's give it a go. So basically on the nose, it's just absolutely, you know, incredible um, what notes of kerosene, petrol notes on the nose, very good. Which is what you get from quality developed recently. <coughs> Then on the palate, <coughs> beautiful, refreshing fruits. It's, it's kind of lychee <coughs> fruits. Absolutely delicious wine, off dry. Quite a serious wine, but just delightful fruit flavours. Mm. And what did we go with? So with the, with the, 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 the fruitiness of this wine and, and, and the sweetness of it as well, um, we, we, we decided to go down um, for the cheese, a, a, a very savoury, nutty cheese. So uh, this one here, it's, it's a local cheese, it's called St Bartholomew, just down the road in Nettlebed. Uh, what this uh, offers us is, is that savoury nutty note, which is counterbalances the sweetness of the wine. Um, and the meat, what we brought in uh, here is this one here, just in the corner, which is a copper, a Cornish copper, which gives us a, a nice salty note as well. So we've got the savoury, the salt and the sweet which uh, rounds off beautifully. Um, it's a delicious. really, really, really lovely combination, that. So moving on to the reds. We went to um, South Australia. We started with the Shiraz. This is the Hunter State as well. And uh, we wanted a clear, we wanted a sort of a light version, a sort of a, a Shiraz that's complex and balanced, so not overbearing and not overpowerful, and, and this delivers on all, all those fronts. So on the nose, you get a lovely sort of bramble fruits on the nose. Very hedgerow. There's perfumes on the palate, but dry. So lovely fruits on the nose, well balanced, dry and refreshing acidity. A delicious, well balanced wine, really easy drinking. Yeah, very easy. Yeah. And what did we say this worked with? So this one we've gone for a um, a very buttery cheese. Uh, it's it's actually a red Leicester, so um, usually thought of as a a bit of a nothingy cheese. But what we've gone for this one is a fourteen month matured red Leicester, uh, which gives us a, a a really good depth of flavour, which stands up and and marries well with that that bramble flavour from the wine. Um, very nice. Um, very nice combination indeed. Uh, and the meat we've gone down the, the beef brisola root, um, which again gives us a nice savouriness as well, um, and just enough salt and fat to, to, to work very well with the, the fruitiness of that wine. So again, a, a fantastic pairing that one. And then actually the next one I've got wrong, in the wrong order actually. <laughs> so um, the next wine we went for um, is a stunning example. I mean we've um, gone for a, a fantastic area. This is Bereford's um, estate from the McLaren, McLaren Vale, 2015 Merlot, a serious wine, uh, premium, and um, basically it's, I, I describe it as a classic Bordeaux with a, a little bit more sunshine, so it's, it's sort of classic Bordeaux with a bit more fruit emphasis, I guess. Yeah. And on the nose, God, it really, it just pushes through that sort of plum. It's, Kind of ripe plum there, but with complexity, a few, bit of herbaceousness and spice. And on the palate, it's just so it's silky, but really fill, fills the palate, doesn't it? And dryness, it dryness on the palate. It's yeah. just a, it really is a delightful wine. Very nice indeed. So uh, what we've gone down this uh, to to pair with this this wine here. Um, that are very dry wine, uh, very um, quite quite big. Um, we've gone for a um, an extra mature cheddar actually with this one. So this is called a Cernabisman cheddar. Um, it is this one here on on the board there. Uh, what this is a 24 month old mature uh, cheddar, which what this gives us is a, a slight salt crunch, which works very mm. well with that the, the dryness of that wine. Um, also, it allows it does give you a slight creaminess as well, although quite. Um, powerful in the palate. Uh, the meat we've, um, we've, we've just to marry nicely with that plum damson <coughs> note in, 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 in the wine we've gone for a smoked up prosciutto so again uh, quite a unique um, piece of British charcuterie there. Uh, very nice indeed that the slight gaminess from the, from the duck and, and the fattiness as well pairing very well with that dryness of that wine so 
a beautiful pair in there as well. And to finish off, we've gone back to Bethany. Um, fantastic uh, estate here from Barossa. Uh, this is Old Vine Grenache. And the vines are between 50 and 80 year old vines, so very old. The old vines, basically what, the benefit of old vines is that they're they produce fewer grapes and therefore there's more concentration of fruit in the grapes um, so they don't yield as much. Much more flavour, much more extraction of flavour. The skins of the Grenache grape are thinner than uh, Merlot so it's a, although it's a lighter colour, the actual power of the wine, it's a bigger wine isn't it? Yeah. So on the nose it's got a huge, I mean the nose is incredible isn't it? It's a really um, wonderful kind of ripe sort of raspberry on the nose. Beautiful fruits on those. And the palate's big. I mean, it, it basically fills the beautiful mouthfeel, wonderful perfume, and just a long finish, a big wine. And what did we go with this? So what the, this one here, we've, um, we've paired with a beautiful blue cheese, um, something which uh, the, the, che the, the, the wine and the cheese, they can both stand up to each other. So we've gone for a Highland blue, which is this one here. So. Um, again, down the softer, the softer blue cheese route, um, although it delivers quite a nice blue twang, nice punch of flavour there as well, which really, really does complement that wine beautifully. Um, the meat, we have gone venison again, or, um, but venison brazola. So it's a wild venison brazola, so you get a really nice gaminess from this, which really ties in well with, um, with, with, with the heaviness, with the, 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 the you know, the, the the bold flavours in that wine, um, they all marry together very, very well. So you get the, the blue twang of the cheese with the gaminess of the meat and then rounded off by that, by that beautiful um, deep red wine. So again, a, a beautiful flavour and a beautiful pairing. So, so we're set for a fantastic evening on the, on the 28th, Thursday the 28th, beautiful pairings. And we're, this is the discovery pack for February for, for the Trailways Wine Discovery Club members. If you want to have these wines paired with the food, let me know because we can send packs out to you. Um, so you don't have to be around for the tasting, we can put these together for you. Yeah. And uh, we'll send feedback on the evening because based on last on the last tasting, um, you know, people loved it, didn't we? And we've certainly, yeah, we thoroughly very enjoyed very uh, putting these together and we think we, you will too. So uh, hopefully we'll see you at the tasting. 28th of uh, February at the Delhi number no. 5 in Tame. Thanks very much. Thank you.